Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we don't need Christian Bale or Arnold Schwarzenegger to make this Terminator work. Welcome to Lane Masters Terminator Armageddon. guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at Lane Master's new Terminator Armageddon. Now this is a two-piece ball, which means it has cover and it has core, but none of that filler in between. As we've seen with other balls that have done this, this increases the energy that is distributed to the pins, the coefficient of restitution, and it means that you get stronger hits, and better carry. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about this ball, Scoops? It has the Terminator high RG low diff symmetric core in it. It also has the Evolution ZX solid cover stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, this ball is a hook monster. Yes. But with that said, there's not a super change in direction quickly. Yeah, that medium to low differential means that it's not going to be really snappy. Yeah. It's going to be a little gentler when it yeah. makes its change of direction. Nice, subtle, strong move. Yeah, but for being a strong ball, it is very smooth, very strong. That cover stock has some teeth to it and gave us a lot more performance than we were expecting out of this ball. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here's Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. He's bowling on a modified uh, Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Yeah, now we, we finally got our oil machine working again. Yes. Uh, it's so it's we're, we're still rounding it into shape. Yes. Uh, so that's why we say modified right now. Yeah. Um, this ball seemed to be pretty strong. I mean, yes. I, I talked yeah. a little bit about it in the opening, but I didn't throw this one. I was no. watching you yeah. guys. Yeah, and uh, it is strong, just yeah. like uh, some of the other uh, amazing balls these guys have come out with. Um, well, they they see, seem like, they seem to we we've been talking about this before. They yeah. seem to really go towards strong equipment. Yeah, especially in these two piece balls. Yes, the two piece balls are um, they're not giving anything up, which is awesome because you got that extra carry and you get that strength seed off the spot. Like like yeah. we talked about, it wasn't a uh, super aggressive like yeah, boom. It wasn't like thing. the original pandemic that was sure. almost unnecessarily oh, yeah, strong. Yeah. Yeah. This was strong as in it dug in. It had some yeah. teeth. And it's, it got a little bit cleaner down lane. Yep. It gets a little bit more, so it's not rolling at your feet. Yep. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. There's Sometimes you want that, but you can definitely see that it uh, wants to go. All right, now here you are. Now, uh, yeah. you get to see a little bit more now. That yeah. A, a little bit how, how much stronger this ball is. Like it, I have to say, the gold. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So one of the things we ran into yeah. during this, um, the logo on this has it's yellow with like gold sparkles. sparkles. Yes. Um, and I mean, when I drilled this, my shop was covered in sparkles, and I thought, oh, you know what? It came from off the ball because it's rattling around and blah blah yeah. blah. Um, oh my god. I was wearing sparkles. You were sparkles, wearing sparkles. Was, I was wearing, wearing sparkles. sparkles. Yeah. Everyone was wearing sparkles. <laughs> there were sparkles on the approach. We had to clean off. But they were on the lane. Yeah. Um, it looks amazing. Probably yeah. not our favorite thing on this ball. No. <laughs> but I have to say, that's probably the only thing I didn't like about this ball. Like I said, it, like I said with Wayne, you can see how smooth it goes out and then yep. makes that beautiful arc and very controlled. And with that two piece, I can't say it enough. Boom. Extra pin carry. All right, and here is Mr. Cam, the big hurt himself. Yeah. You can see now Cam has a higher rev rate than I do. No. Just just a little bit, but he does throw it a little bit harder than I do, too. Even though he's a rev-dominant player, he still yep. has a little bit more speed than I do. And you can see he gets way down there, yeah. and it makes that thing. But it's not a behind-the-head pin thing. It's not. Yeah. It just rolls up. 
and for, just boom. For him, it probably could have been taken to a thousand just to get it to read a little bit earlier. Yeah. A little smoother. Um, but uh, that's mostly because of his side rotation. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, for you power players, you have to. I mean, it looks really cool when it goes down way, way far before it moves. <sighs> but you know, sometimes that's not controllable. No, no. So you, you want to. Yeah, you got to play the lanes front to back. That's right. Get yourself in a right spot, a decent spot where she's going to come up. And this ball is, I could see it having lots of room to adjust to yeah, surface-wise. For, for the matched player and for the speed-dominant player, this was good. But a little more grit would probably do some good. All right, guys. That about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.